in this world, uh, there is perception and then there is reality. Listen to me very closely. Ever since this Bill Cosby case, where a woman was allegedly touched 30 years ago, and I want to throw um, what I know about this case into the ears of the court of public opinion. And mind you, I realize that the court of public opinion is not based on law. It's all conjecture. It's all assumption. It's all opinion. Nevertheless, there was a woman that alleged that she was sexually assaulted by Bill Cosby 30 years ago. There were no indictments. There was no charges that was actually filed at that time. No police report. Blase, blase, blase. It was also rumored that Bill Cosby wanted to buy uh, MSNBC or some NBC organization. And he just basically experienced a political lynching. Then all of a sudden, there was 20 more women that came out saying that they were drugged. Now, again, perception and reality. Are all men in trouble now? I don't mean just Bill Cosby. I mean all men. Are all men in trouble now simply because some woman can allege that 30 years ago, she just come to the reality, or let's just say today, she came to the reality that 30 years ago that she was sexually assaulted because somebody put a hand on her ass. Now, I understand I we, none of us know all the details, but this justice system that we have right here, I have a question. Are we now getting into a particular situation in this country and time that we live in now that the mob is now ruling? Now, henceforth, enter the word democracy. All right? We often hear that word touted, dropped like you wouldn't believe. Well, we got a dilemma on our hands now. Because there is the new head coach of the Detroit Lions named Mike Patricia. Now he is up against and dealing with the same exact things that Bill Cosby was being dealt with or has dealt with or has been convicted of. Same exact things. 20 years ago, a woman alleged that he sexually abused her or molested her. Watch this now. Now, we have perception, we have reality. Which one is it? What is coming forth? Because it's the exact same thing. I'm hearing on news talk radios, NFL sports radios and everything, everybody's trying to relax this. And they're trying to say drop it because uh, there was no indictment, there was no settlement, there was no payout, there was nothing that happened 20 years ago. It's just a woman that came up and alleged this to impugn the character of this man. Well, can't we all say the same thing about Bill Cosby? I mean, after all, they do know how to stir up the court of public opinion. And they do know how to sway public opinion through propaganda. But we're getting ready to see if we have a two-edged sword or double... I ain't going to say two-edged sword. Let me rephrase that. We're getting ready to see if there's a double standard in this society right here. Because Bill Cosby was an icon. And at 80-something years old, he's doing prison time now. Because some women... Um, finally had it come to their recollection that they've been sexually abused or assaulted 30 years ago. Now here's a man that allegedly sexually abused a woman 20 years ago. We're going to see if he gets the same punishment and the same judgment as Bill Cosby got. Now believe me, I understand. I know that everybody should say in certain instances that we shouldn't rush to judgment. We hear that all the time. Well, don't rush the judge, rush the judge. Well, a lot of people, even after the verdict, is rushing the judgment. And let's, let me say this also. Just because we have a verdict in this country don't mean that it's true. That means that somebody was able to present the case in a certain way, and that's why I keep telling you over and over again. I said it once, said it a thousand times, I'm going to keep on saying it. In this country, a good lawyer is one who knows how to use strategy. Did you hear what I said? A good lawyer or a good attorney is one that knows how to use strategy and use it well. That's what a good attorney is. And if he can out strategize the next attorney, it makes no difference what is truth, what is error, what is lie, what is conjecture, what is theater. Makes no difference whatsoever at all. At all. That's the type of world we live in today. What a system, huh? What a world we live in, huh? Is it not sad? 
that today you just simply can't get nobody to just tell the truth.